This story is called A Book for Bramble and it's written by Lynn Garner and Gabby Hansen. I wonder what this story is about. I can see a little mouse sitting under a mushroom reading a book. Shall we find out? Let's get ready then. The leaves had turned golden yellow and rusty red and lay thick on the ground. Winter's coming. Time to hibernate, said Bramble. I'll miss you, said Teasel. I'll miss you too, replied Bramble, hugging his friend. Teasel watched as Bramble and the rest of his family crept to their nest under the upside down wheelbarrow. Can you see what kind of creature Bramble is? That's right, he's a hedgehog. And we know that hedgehogs hibernate in the winter time. At supper time that evening, Teasel rolled his roasted hazelnuts and chestnuts around his plate. You're missing Bramble, aren't you? asked his mother. And Teasel nodded sadly. After supper, Teasel was bored. Why don't you draw a picture? suggested his mother. I know, I'll draw one for Bramble, said Teasel. And I'll write to him too, telling him all about winter. I'll make a book for Bramble. Teasel fetched his pencils and a large sketchbook and sat by the roaring fire. Teasel wrote a book for Bramble in big letters and began. Dear Bramble, I'm going to tell you what's happening while you're asleep. Then we can share winter when you wake up. Teasel drew a picture of the upside down wheelbarrow where Bramble was now sleeping. When he'd finished, he closed the book and hid it under his pillow. Can you see? The days rolled by and Teasel still missed his friend. At the winter feast, there were lots of delicious things, nuts, pumpkin pie and warm blackcurrant squash. Oh, if only Bramble were here, thought Teasel. Teasel sat by the pond, hoping the noise of the party would wake his friend. As he dipped his tail into the cold water and watched the ripples, Mrs Squirrel came over. Teasel, come and join in the games. But I want Bramble to be here. He's my best friend, said Teasel. I know, dear, but you can share the fun with him in your book. Teasel was very tired after the party, but he had lots to write in Bramble's book that day. We made a bonfire. The flames were red and yellow and warmed our cold noses. Mrs Squirrel hid nuts, which we had to find. It was so much fun. I wish you'd been there. The weather grew colder and colder. One day, Teasel found the puddles on the path had turned to ice. Come skating with us, called his brother Sedge. That night, Teasel wrote, we tied walnut shells onto our feet and skated all day. I kept slipping over, but I got better by the end. The days became colder still, and when Teasel looked out of the window one morning, everything seemed to be covered in a thick white blanket. It's snowing! It's snowing! he shouted, running into the kitchen. We know, said his sister Meadow, we're going to play in the snow after breakfast. Bramble would love this, said Teasel, as he gathered another paw full of snow. I do miss him. I know. Let's make a snow hedgehog in his honour, said Serge. That night, Teasel drew a picture of the snow hedgehog for Bramble and wrote, 
it was huge. I wish you could have seen it. And when we finished, we had a snowball fight. Then Sedge broke off some icicles and we had ice lollies. Teasel was having lots of fun that winter, but still he missed Bramble. Gradually, spring came. Flowers poked through the earth and the sun grew stronger. Teasel knew that Bramble would soon wake up and he took a basket of nuts with him when he went to the wheelbarrow. Bramble would be hungry after his long sleep. Then, at last, Teasel heard shuffling coming from the wheelbarrow. One by one, Bramble's family crept out into the sunlight. Finally, Bramble emerged, yawning and stretching. Bramble! Teasel shouted, running to greet his friend. I missed you! And I missed you too, said Bramble. I know I did, because I dreamed about you. I made a book for you, so that we could share winter, said Teasel. Do you want to see it? Oh yes, I've always wanted to know what winter was like, said Bramble. And the two friends sat by the pond together as Bramble began to read. Dear Bramble. I bet Bramble loved hearing all the things Teasel did in the winter time whilst he was sleeping. Because Teasel, even though he did miss Bramble very much, he did still have a very lovely time. And now Bramble and Teasel are back together again. And I think they're going to have some lovely times together too, don't you?